Hi, Dr. Patrick Gentempo here, and thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel. We have great content in store for you. I'm so excited to be here with you, and let's jump right into it. Good. So I started publishing a newsletter, and the newsletter was free. And the first email went out to, well, 19 email addresses, I like to say. Really, it was 17 people outside my home. You know, one of them was my wife's email address, one was my second email address. But, you know, it feels... I guess 19, saying I had 19 subscribers felt better than 17. And so eventually that newsletter started to grow through word of mouth. And then we got up to 20. And I say we, but it was just me. Got up to 20 and then 25 and 30 and then 60 and then 100 subscribers. And somewhere in there, I figured out how to put together the most basic website. And a few more people started subscribing. And I just kept at it and kept at it. and. And when I tell this story, a lot of this stuff's going to feel like it happened super quick, but it was a lot of grinding uh, over a long time. And about six months in, I, I think I had, boy, I don't even remember how many subscribers I had, had at that point, but it had grown quite a bit. I think there was over a thousand subscribers at that point for this free newsletter. And I had this thought, you know, we're really struggling financially. Maybe I could, maybe I could put together a paid version of this newsletter and see if some people would buy so the, then the problem for me was I'd never sold anything in my life. I wasn't a salesperson. I wasn't a marketer. I had no natural sales. In fact, I, you know, in Boy Scouts, I was the person who could only sell two bags of donuts, you know, one to my parents and one to, one to our next door neighbors. It, sales was like the last thing I ever thought I could do. So, and I was scared to ask for the money. I, I developed a relationship with these subscribers and they liked me and I wanted them to keep on liking me. So I thought if I, if I asked for money, they wouldn't like me. And I had all kinds of messed up things in my head about money, lots of messed up things. And, but I was also desperate. We were desperate to, we were just scraping by, absolutely just scraping by. And so I came up with this plan to, basically just deliver a lot of value. And I like to think of it as a romance. It's just like build more and more value with my subscribers that led into uh, this offering, this paid version of the newsletter. And that's what I did. And it was January 97 when I finally built up the courage to send out an email that said, hey, I've got a paid version and all that stuff I've been getting for the few last few weeks, that's sort of some of the stuff you're gonna get in the paid version. And if you're interested, then, um, the, well, back then, online commerce, online sales was very, very, it was hard to do. It was sketchy. So I said, print out this email and write a check for me and put it in the mail and send me, your, send me the check. And then, you know, you can get a subscription to my, the paid version of this newsletter. And amazingly enough, it worked. And the first person that sent me, sent, wrote me back and said, hey, I'm putting the check in the mail today. He was from Switzerland, just blew my mind that like I'm, here I am in my, in literally the, 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 the spare bedroom with the baby's changing table and the diaper pal there is like where I'm writing these emails from. And this guy from Switzerland is going to send me this check and I couldn't believe it. And so that, what we now call a launch that I did did a total of sales of $1,650 to get my email newsletter. And there was literally no costs whatsoever. I, I was sending an email was the product. They were sending me checks. Uh, I, I went and rented a, a mailbox, like a mailboxes, et cetera. So I had a mailbox that cost $35 for three months. So that's what it cost to start the business. And in any case, $1,650 was unbelievable it was amazing i couldn't believe it and everyone's got a different frame of reference for money for some people that's like that's life-changing money like it was for me for other people that like i'm you know that's really not that big a deal jeff it was a big deal but what's even a bigger deal was this thought i had that if i did this once i can do it again and i can do it again and i can do it again and i might even get better and it, the results might even grow and that's what happened. About three or four months later, I did another launch like this. Wasn't gonna, the, the, the term launch, didn't come up with that for years after this, but it, this, this, this launch, the next one did $6,000. The next one did $8,000. And then a, a few more down the road and it did, I think, 15,000. And then jumping way forward until 1998, like 18 months later, I did a launch, came up with this new idea for this new product 
new offer and did $34,000. And that was as much money I'd ever made in a year before. And I made it in a single week. And that's the launch that brought Mary home, that where she was able to, we start replaying to retire. It took her another six months to put the whole plan together, but she came home to help me raise the kids and, uh, and also help me build the business. And it's just been a, a rocket ride ever since. One thing that you bring. Thanks so much for being here and watching that video. And can I ask you to please subscribe to our channel so you can find out when we're posting new content. You'll be alerted right away when we do to share this with people you think might benefit from the information. And certainly it helps us if you like the video. So if you like what you just saw, go ahead and hit that like button. And again, thank you so much for being here with me right now.